the Bishop of Kildare and Ockham, Dr. Lauren Bryan, and the Bishop of Cashel and Ockham, Dr. Noel Willoughby, to bless this building and all the people within it.
superintendent, ladies and gentlemen, friends, neighbors, I'd like to welcome you all here today on behalf of Hackettstown community to share our hospitality and to, to join with us in celebrating which for us is a very big day. So I now ask the Minister for Forestry, Mr. Lee Nailworth, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. My Lord Bishop, uh, Leaders of Senate, Senator Lanigan, Senator Hogan, Councillor Colleagues, Ladies and Gentlemen, my first duty today is to apologise for my colleague, Frank Fahey, Minister of State, who had been invited to perform the official function here today, but unfortunately was not able to attend. However, I suppose it was both fortunate and appropriate for me, being from this constituency of Carlo McKenney, that he asked me to deputise your forum and to perform the official opening. I would particularly like to congratulate the community of Hackettstown and surrounding districts for the very fine premises which they have provided here. Indeed, I am aware from day one when this project commenced of the difficulties, the money that had to be raised, the effort that had to be put in by this local community to bring this project to fruition. I would indeed like to compliment and congratulate your very able committee who spearheaded the project and who have succeeded in having this project come to fruition here today. They worked extremely hard, they deserve great credit for that and I know they have got the support of the entire community, you the people of the area who brought this project to such a successful conclusion. I know also And I, I think I will be forgiven for mentioning one man in particular who has been in constant contact with me. That's our local councillor, Councillor Arthur Kennedy. He ensured that your case was heard at the very highest level. And I can tell you that he made a lot of phone calls on your behalf over the last uh, while the project was, was being uh, built. I think he deserves your credit for that also. Despite the pressures of modern day life, it's still wonderful to see how dynamic a contribution voluntary enterprise can make to many communities up and down the country. With this here today, for example, this new centre, which is a wonderful example of such community effort. I feel privileged and indeed it's an honour to speak to you here today at this official function. The government was especially pleased it could recognise and assist this very worthy local initiative with a substantial grant of £50,000 from the National Lottery. Opening a centre like this provides not only a focal point for community social activities for all age groups, but also promotes a more healthy lifestyle for local youth. National Lottery revenues have enabled the government to provide substantial financial assistance to many similar projects throughout the country, reflecting the importance which it accords to assist in communities to provide for their recreational needs. I am glad here to uh, inform the uh, committee that another cheque of £3,800 will be made available within the next 10 days to your committee to meet some of the bills that are outstanding. And when that £3,800 is paid, I think there's only £1,000 then outstanding uh, from your £50,000 grant. So I hope that's good news at least. I've been informed by the Minister of State to tell you that here today. I congratulate all the people involved in this project and particularly on this great achievement. I am very confident that it will have tremendous benefits for all the people of Hackettstown and surrounding areas for many years to come. And I sincerely wish each and every person that used this hall, that will be involved in running of this hall, every success for the future for a bit of August. Thank you, Mr. Minister, for those very generous remarks and comments, and we certainly were encouraged by them. Now, I'd like to call on Dr. Lawrence Ryan, Bishop of Kildare and Auckland, to say a few words.
like a town, and a building like this is a symbol of a whole lot of things, but above all, it's a symbol of the great community spirit which has brought it into existence. And I'd like to add my words to those of the minister in congratulating all of the people who were involved in bringing this building to where it is today. It must, must have caused a lot of heartaches and headaches, and in the beginning it was really a very formidable undertaking. And there must have been times, I'm sure, when those associated with it felt they could never see it come to completion. But they persevered, they kept up that, the work, and now they have. And they were, of course, helped by the grant of £50,000 from the National Lottery. But when all is said and done, the backbone of the effort, the bulk of the fundraising, has to come from the local community. And those who organized the funding, those who planned and supervised and they work, and all the local people who in different ways contributed to the building, you're the ones who deserve everybody's thanks. And uh, now that the centre is complete, I know you realise that that's only the beginning, really, because it's only the beginning of its life. It's here now, and it's formed of a structure that obviously will last for a long time. And so the task now is to use it. It is for the benefit of the community, and all we have to do is look at the floor to see that it is marked out for a number of kinds of games, and it's obviously something that should be of special benefit to young people in the community. And I hope that it will be used. I hope too that the spirit, the community spirit which has brought it into existence will continue to be there in its use. And I hope that there will always be people who will encourage use of it, see that it's kept, see that it's fully used, see that it's made available in a fair and equitable way to different organisations. And I hope that the community will benefit from it and make full use of it. So, as well as congratulating the people of Hackettstown and especially the committee that brought it into being, as well as congratulating them on what they have achieved, I hope that this building will have a bright future and that will confer many benefits on the people of Hackettstown and be available for the expression of, continued expression of the community spirit which has brought it into being. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bishop Ryan. And now call on Bishop Noel Willoughby, Bishop Cashel and Austin, say a few words. Behind its creation 
lies great initiative, endeavor, and cooperation in order to bring it to this point of achievement. And looking at the floor and all the markings on the floor, I was rather envious of those who will be able to use it. I was always very active in various sporting areas, never making the mark in any, but getting great enjoyment from most of them. And I think that a community hall like this, and with such recreation and facilities, emphasize an important element in sport which we are in danger of losing. I think sometimes in the heat of competition and in the way competition between teams is built up, there we are in danger of losing that sense of enjoyment and relaxation and fun. The other night on television through the new cable link, I was able to watch uh, the Australian Open tennis. And what sort of depressed me about it, the skill was obviously there, but the participants looked as if they were hating every moment of it. They looked so tensed up and so serious. It was a serious business, of course, so much money at stake. But nonetheless, sport, I think its first function is to give that sense of recreation and enjoyment. And I hope that this hall here will provide that opportunity for our, the people of this parish and surrounding area. And living in Kilkenny as I do, I'd like to say to the minister, it's my first opportunity of being able to share with him in an actual opening and I'd like to congratulate him on his appointment and wish him well in his uh, new role. And thank you for asking me, and it's a great joy to be able to share here in the occasion. I've got the pleasant privilege now of attempting to thank all the people who in so many ways helped to make this day possible. Now I hope when I'm finished that you'll forgive me for all the omissions. Now in 1983, when a number of people got together here in Hackstown and decided that we would provide a community centre here in Hackstown, we discussed and considered various sites and options, and eventually we decided that we'd site the new community centre called here on this site. We then set out to establish titles to the site and to organise this end of it in order to uh, avail of grants, etc. Now, our first delegation was to meet Dr. Lennon, the then Bishop of Kildare and Lachlan. Now, his encouragement and his enthusiasm for this project at a very early stage, was an inspiration to us, and I'd like Dr. Ryan to convey our, our gratitude for that. We then, through an old uh, committee, the Kevin Barry Memorial Committee, which had campaigned here in the, six, in the 50s and 60s, a meeting was reconvened, and they transferred to us their interest, whatever interest they had in this site. Now, later, in our pursuit to uh, start out the title, we discovered that this site, the Fair Green Hackett Town, was the property of the Jordan Estate. And arriving subsequently, the executor of the, the Jordan Estate, Mrs. The lady here on, on my uh, right, who is, uh, I've omitted her name, uh, Mrs. Marion Daly, I have it written down, you know, you'll forgive me for my forgetfulness, Mrs. Marion Daly, the executor, bestowed this site and the, and the old hall to the trustees of Hackettstown Community Centre and thereby to the people of Hackettstown. Now this is a, mag a magnanimous, magnificent gest community gesture and to, as a token of this, I'm going to ask two of our committee here, Col uh, Dolores Farrell and Bridget Farrell, to make a, a slight token gesture make a presentation to Mrs. Marion Daly.
plaque will be erected here in due course to commemorate this. Now, we were now at the, at the stage where we could proceed with the demolition of this, uh, the old community hall. And in 1986, in April 1986, we started to knock this hall. And in July of the same year, we actually had a dance in the new one. Now, it was just a shell, and the people who, who were at that dance may still have the tails in the backs of their legs. We had a concrete floor here, but from the old, an existing old hall, in two months we had, we, we actually had a license to have it hold a dance here. Now, at that stage, we continued to strive for funds until 1988, last April, we were lucky, after a number of, of unsuccessful attempts, to get grand aid for this community centre to the extent of £50,000 from the Department of Education, the sports section. Now I'd like to thank the Minister, thank the Government through the Minister for Forestry for this and for the confidence that he had, that he had shown in our project. And I hope that he will recognise the capacity for self-help in the community here, and I hope you'll find that the £50,000 is well spent. And we'd like to thank him, but couldn't have come at a more critical stage, that £50,000. Now, in helping us to make that application, I'd like to thank the principal of the National School, Mr. Liam Murray, and the principal of the Vocational School, Mr. Larry Cavanagh, and his predecessor, the late Mr. Jack Fitzgerald, for their letters of, of support in our application. Now, I've no doubt that those letters of support had a big influence on gaining a grand aid for us. I would also point out that the planning commission for this hall was in the name of the late Jack Fitzgerald. And in fact, this hall was designed by him. And today, we'd like to remember him late Jack Fitzgerald, and I'm sure he'd, he'd be very happy to be participating in, in this day today. We'd like to comment as Evan and his wife, who's one of our great helpers down in the back there. Now, from the beginning of our project, we were always fortunate to be able to get the help of the community of all the community. Now in particular, I wanted to thank the ladies, they are reflected today here, our ladies committee, who are always, they were always enthusiastically willing to come out and support any venture that we had. Our lady committee. Now, how could we have achieved anything here in Hackettstown? How could we have achieved this without the support of our women? I'd like to thank them, and I thank them to our committee. To the, the volunteers, all the people who helped at the beginning, when prospects weren't great, who supplied tractors and diggers and ropes and tents and lorries and fields for field days, all the little things that made our job here as a committee so easy, the little things that made the bigger things possible. And sometimes giving us access to their facilities as some inconvenience to themselves. We couldn't have achieved anything without them, our volunteers. I, 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 I could name out 99% of them, I won't do it. The people who came up here with shovels, with picks and shovels, at the beginning, before our benevolent minister appeared on the scene, when, when things were, 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 were very blank. We'd like to thank those people. The business people in Hackerstown who made their facilities available to us for cabarets, for fashion shows, for raffles and quizzes. We'd like to, I'd like to thank those people. To our Father O'Byrne, Father Carberry, Reverend Howard, who promoted our activities through their community. I'd like to thank them. The builders, Jerry Quinn, Jerry McCarney, Michael Flynn, who, with a very tight schedule, who done a very good job. Michael Barrett, our staff of work, who looked after our interests. Tiger, through, and our local representative, if you like, Jim Brennan here, who is our contact person, who got the best thing possible for us. 
I'd like to thank those people. I'd like to thank the people, all the people out there who sold their tickets, who went around Pakistan, who sold their tickets and worked in Cairo, in Carnu, every place, and did so enthusiastically from year to year. Well, I'd like to thank our people who still continue, our teams who man our raffles every Sunday night, the continued flow of funds, which will have to go on a little longer, but we're over the top, we're on our way home now. I'd like to thank those people. I'd like to thank the business people in this town. I'm referring to Kerry Co-op, Keypack, Farrell Joinery, Burns Electia, who as well as, as, as supporting our ongoing occasional ventures gave us very considerable financial support. I'd like to thank those people. I'd like to thank the people who gave us interest-free loans. Again, at a critical time, when people weren't too sure whether we'd we'll ever get a hall bit here, whether we'll, we'll ever get a community centre, whether we'd we'll ever reach this stage. The organisation, and we always appreciated that organisations had their own thing to do. They had their own affairs to look after. But to those organisations who set aside their own self-interest and who answered our cause and helped us, that was very encouraging to us. I'd like to thank those people. I'd like to thank the people who, by their encouragement and goodwill, helped us and to told us to go on, that it was worth going on. Those people who, by that alone, who, who, who support us by their encouragement, I'd like to thank. Now, I'd like to turn to, to the committee that, that I prefer to uh, refer to as a team. Arthur Kennedy, the Vice Chairman, Jerry McCarney, Jerry Moorhead, joint treasurers. Mrs. Dolores Farrell, Mrs. Bridget Farrell, joint secretary. Mary O'Connor. <coughs> Willie Whelan. Michael Byrne, I heard Michael. Michael Byrne, yes. And Donald Cavanagh. I think I, I've got all those people. Now, those people have, have travelled all over Leinster, from Wexford to Dublin, Newbridge, in this committee, we never agreed on anything initially. So therefore, we had to go around the country checking out systems, comparing ideas. And this committee, at their own expense, took time to do that. Now, they represented you, the community, well. Now, in five years as chairman, I have never heard mention of travelling expenses, postal expenses, telephone expenses. That those words were never mentioned. And I, I know that those people feel that today is sufficient reward for them. I was privileged to be associated with this group. I would like to thank all the people that I know I haven't thanked, all the special people, with such a spontaneous support for a community effort like this. You will inevitably forget the people, important people. I'd like to thank all those people. Lastly, I'd like to thank all our special guests for taking up their time to come along here today to share this celebration with us. Now, we'd ask, we'd ask them and all you people to share our hospitality. Thank you.
guys enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos see you guys bye